The aim of this lecture is to introduce the modernization of agricultural production, its driving push and pull factors, and where it fits within the existing sustainable development and policy frameworks, both globally and in the specific African context. After this lecture, you will be able to identify the design considerations and the relevance of the smart agriculture solutions for development. We are living in the age of sustainability, where all human design processes are reconsidered to ensure not only their efficacy, but their sustainability as well. But what is sustainability? Defined by the World Commission on Environment and Development of 1987, sustainability is development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their needs. Thus, sustainable design of processes can be seen as the extension of the design considerations in two dimensions. Time dimension considerations, where the long-term future evolution of the process is factored into the design, and processes dimension considerations, where in-depth knowledge about the interdependency nature of different processes is factored into design. This is, is especially critical in agriculture for its significant linkage to other related socio-economic development processes, such as rural development, natural resource management, banking and logistics management. To that end, a reference strategy framework is used to map the development system-wide interdependencies. The framework further provides coherent performance indices to assess the efficacy of the process throughout its lifetime, which helps informing future adjustments and learning. Such framework further ensures the design intentionality, that is all the policy outcomes and consequences were overseen and accounted for during the design phase. The African Union Continental Agenda 2063, the Africa we want, which is in harmony with the United Nations Global Agenda 2030 for Sustainable Development, represents the paramount reference framework, setting a holistic transformative vision from which goals and sector-specific planning is derived and measured against. The 2063 Strategy for Africa, the Comprehensive African Agricultural Development Program, CAADP, and the African Development Bank Strategy for Agricultural Transformation are all in line consolidating the modernization of agriculture and agro-businesses. But what are the specific push and pull factors motivating the agricultural transformation, putting it in the center of the socio-economic development planning? One of the major push factors is the population growth. The world population is expected to increase so that in one generation there will be more additional people than what we had at the beginning of the 20th century. Moreover, this increase in population is disproportionately happening in developing countries, and Africa has a major contribution. According to the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs, the African population share in the global population will grow from 9.1% in 1950 to 19.7% in 2034, up to 35.3% in 2100. It's a challenge calling for active planning to feed this growing population. The other major push factor is the urbanization trend. In 2050, about 70% of the global population will live in urban areas compared to 50% today. The urbanization as a phenomena affects the agricultural production in multiple ways. First, it leads to labor scarcity in the rural areas where agricultural production is naturally taking place. And secondly, it changes the consumption habits of the population in terms of amount, quality, and variety of food demanded. For example, as reported by the International Food Policy Research Institute, the per capita rice consumption habits in Nigeria vary greatly between rural and urban areas with only 30% premium rice consumed in rural areas compared to 69% in urban areas.
Transforming the agricultural sector can positively contribute to the empowerment of rural communities, slowing down the trend of people leaving rural areas to urban cities, while securing a sustainable increase in their income. On the other hand, as pull factors, we see the opportunity of productivity gains. The African agricultural productivity in terms of average yield per land unit compared to the world best practices is remarkably low in virtually all major African crops. Whereas the ratio of the total employment in agriculture to their contribution in the GDP is remarkably high in Africa compared to other regions worldwide. These factors points to the need for active policies for agricultural transformation to promote inclusive growth wheeled by productivity improvements. Another pull factor is the market opportunity for agribusinesses and cross-sector development. As per the African Development Bank, food local demand in Africa is expected to rise from $35 billion in 2015 to $110 billion by 2025. This indicates the real, already existing opportunities for successful agribusinesses and the service industry, which can have tangible and sustainable impact on food security, broad income growth, and potential job creation. For all those drivers, existing and previous projects and programs working in the African agricultural transformation quite often highlighted the importance of the dissemination of productivity increasing technologies. Smart agriculture is the holistic farm management framework that encompasses these complex and ambitious transformations where efficiency, productivity and sustainability are addressed.